Uh, okay, what is up? Today we are going to be making a hardcore kick, if you know what I mean. So um, first thing is first, what you want to do is you just want to grab any kick you want. You know what? Okay, let's just get rid of these kicks. This is going to be a quick five minute tutorial on how to get bigger kicks. So just get your kick, any kick. Okay, let's sample that one. We just we just want the sample right now. So what you want to do is you want to just grab this. You want you want this. Okay. <clears throat> we want it on every single one. Okay. Then after you have it on every single beat, okay, I want you to grab another kick. So Okay, that's going to be your main kick, okay? And what you want to do is you want to just look for another, like... Look for one that's a little bit more punchier. Um... I like that one. Okay, so let's go with that one. Do the exact same thing, you know, kind of put on every single, every single beat there. Okay. 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 I wonder if that's a good impression. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Now we should have this. Okay. So what you want to do on this one is you want to grab the EQ, right? You, you want to see this? People tend to want to go like this, right? They just want to go like this and they want to... Uh, I mean, that does boost the low end, but look at all those muddy frequencies that we don't need. Like right here. Basically, anything below 30, uh, you can't even hear, so there's no point. So we don't really need this. So we're going to take this yellow part. We're going to go around maybe 555 gonna bring it to around the Q to about a hundred or 1.0 and then just boost it a little bit just kind of go okay and then in the second one what you want to do see this top end right here kind of around this top end right here is what's gonna punch through the whole mix and what we're gonna hear so let's just Let's just create kind of a cut here. Okay, see, see, hear that click? That's it. That's what's gonna punch through the mix. The low end will come through because we're gonna have side chain, but we want a little bit of this to come through. So let's take that off. Okay. Next, what you want to do, what you want to do to make it super thick is you want to actually copy this right here, bring it down, and what you're going to do is you're going to go like this. Just create a sub. Okay. And you should have this now. And you just want to just go crank that, crank it, or at least have it till it hits about 12, just to give it that thud. And now, it, well, once you bring everything back, look, listen to this. And we got a kick-ass kick. Wait, uh, let me see if I have the levels right. So what you want to do with the levels actually before we, before I end this short, short-ass video. Yeah, that's about right. All of this should have sidechain. I don't even know what this was. I opened it up after like a year. <laughs> And yeah, I, I know we're kind of clipping down here, but I'm not even trying to mix this, so 
But yeah, I hope this helped. If you want thicker kicks like this, just kind of use this trick a little bit. I tend to, me, I tend to like have maybe four kicks, different kicks. I have like the same five kicks that I'll like throw in there that I use on the daily. But I just wanted to use like basic, you know, uh, kicks in here from the stock plugin. And yeah, so see you later and I'll catch you on the next video, I guess.